Good day, my friends. Uh, today we're going to talk about Fog of War in Fantasy Grounds. Um, Fog of War is actually called Mask. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull up a map, I'm going to enable Fog of War, and I'm also going to put a uh, character player onto the map. And there's a certain way you need to do this for combat to work correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull up our map. So I've got a map here I created from Don John. As you all know, if you use these maps, I love them. So we have this here. So the first thing we need to do is enable mask through layers. So right here, you right click. Let me do that again. You right click and choose layers. And then this little icon here, it says enable mask. So it's, this is how this grays out for us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, what, I, what you would normally do here at this point is you would send this over to the player. So you would right click this, choose sharing, and then share sheet. And it shares this. But what they're actually seeing is a black screen. And when, say they are starting their quest here in room one, so what you would do is come down here and draw out the area that they are in and it lights it up on their screen and you, you can see via the mask where they're at so now here's how you would put a character here you would come up here to the combat tracker it's the two swords crossed over you would then take your character that's up here in the corner and drag it in him into the combat tracker okay then you have this little icon for your character, and you would drag him over here. But I have not yet set my size for my grid, so he would be super big. So let's come down here and set my grid size. And these will be a little off, because it's live. Uh, not too bad. Okay, so now we just grab Billy Bob the Slick. And drop him in that square and we can zoom in on him okay now there's Billy Bob the slick now if he gets into combat all we're doing is dropping dice from him to the monster that he's fighting and that's it for um, moving him over here but as they move along in the dungeon all you do is, once you drop your character here you will need to click on the mask icon up here in mask mode so you can start clearing out the area from where they are at. So as they see things, you can start clearing it out. And that is a simple fog of war. I know um, Roll20 has dynamic lighting. That's something that's eventually coming in Fantasy Grounds on the new version. But this is what we have at the moment. And I was wanting to show you guys how to do that. Now let's pretend we've got a NPC here. So let's do a cobalt. Well, it gives me that. Let's see. Did I not have anything? I, nope, there's my problem. I didn't load anything in my modules. So let's go ahead and load my modules. Sometimes I forget that. That happens. And then we'll choose a cobalt. And what we do is we drag the cobalt into the tracker. Now you notice because this is the free version um, you, that comes with Fantasy Grounds is what I'm using to teach everybody. You have a K here for the cobalt. Sometimes you can get tokens to load. But I don't really have a good cobalt. Let's take this goblin. See if we can get the to token to change. So all we did was grab the token and drop it right there on top of the cobalt. I mean on the K. And then it changed that. Now something else that's interesting is when we move this. Well, I'm sorry about that guys. I clicked on the wrong thing. When we grab the, the token here and we move it over here. If you notice though, when I drag the cobalt here, he is grayed out. That means he's technically hidden until you decide to let your player see the cobalt. So say a player walked up on your cobalt, you would come over here and hit this little eye and it says show NPC. So there you can describe, hey, you just saw this guy. And then that's when we would roll initiative. 
So for the cobalt, we'll come over here and hit the sword. When we have the initiative here, we'll just grab the initiative and drop it here. For the player character, we'll come over here and we'll look at his initiative. And usually sometimes I have the issue of not being able to see his initiative. And it's zero for right now. And we'll just drag it over here as well. And what that'll do is we can hit it over here and grab his initiative there as well. So um, that puts them in order of who attacks who first. So say the Cobal is going to attack first. We'll say he's going to try to attack with his dagger. So what we'll do is we'll come over here, grab the little, the, uh, actually, sorry. We'll grab his attack plus four, and we'll drop it on top of Billy Bob the Slick. That will roll damage. So he misses Billy Bob the Slick. So then we'll come over to Billy Bob the Slick, when it's his turn, by going down. And I thought I had some weapons on Billy Bob. Look at actions. So Billy Bob is going to try to attack with this great axe. And he's coming over here, dropping it, and he misses as well. And they would continue doing this until that somebody hits and kills the other. Oh, so, therefore, still missing. And I'm just rolling horribly today. Ah, there we go. We get a hit. So the Great Axe hits. Then we come over here and we grab the damage. And we drop the damage on top of the Cobalt. And boom, instant death. The Cobalt's dead. And that's how you do combat as well. Once you kill the Cobalt, you can then you know delete him from your combat tracker. And then you can award out XP, let them go through the Cobalt's remains to see what they find. And uh, that would be it for the combat. Now, if you have any questions, just send me a message on YouTube. If you like my video, go ahead and like it, share it out. And if you get a chance, hit that subscribe button. I'm still trying to get up to my 1,000 uh, so I don't lose my monetization. And... Um, Give me some ideas. Give me some questions of what you want me to cover with Fantasy Grounds, if you want me to cover something with painting miniatures, or if you have any general dice questions. This channel, I, I'm trying to keep it geared towards gaming, uh, tabletop or virtual tabletop. You know, these are my passions. I enjoy playing D&D. I enjoy playing Savage Worlds. Um, I enjoy dice, and I do paint miniatures for fun and on commissions as well. So if you have any questions or, or uh, comments, just leave them below. Thanks, guys.